Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Some of you guys are going to see me sweatshirt twice in a row because it's the same day and I really don't feel like changing clothes. But anyway, um, I have a mini Jumia unboxing or a Jumia haul basically, just a tiny, tiny one. It's not much and I've actually used the product for this makeup look. As you know, although this makeup look hasn't gone up yet, as you know, Editing a video can make you actually time travel. Yes. So I've used the products for this makeup look. And uh, yeah, let's just get into basically what I got because I didn't get much, honestly. of things that I have been postponing for so long and I thought when the Jumia brand still came although to be honest it wasn't much of a deal um, I decided to get a couple of these things yes well the brand still is still on so the first thing that I got is actually a foundation as you guys know I have um, one Maybelline foundation and I know I actually have two that I'm in the wrong shade and still, this one is not my shade. I know it looks like my shade, but it's lighter. Yes, this foundation is actually lighter because my skin... I don't know. Are you supposed to match your foundation to your face skin or to your neck skin? Because if you're supposed to match it to your face skin, it might be not my foundation. But if I'm supposed to match it to my neck, it's definitely my foundation. But for my face skin, it was lighter. Yes, as you're going to see in that video. Uh, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm still looking for my perfect Maybelline shade because I really love their formula. Their formula is good. It's mattifying. It looks natural, you know. Uh, but I haven't found my Maybelline shade. I have found my shade in other companies like Clinique and also Revlon, but not in Maybelline, surprisingly. And they have the widest range, funny enough. Yeah, but I'm, I guess I'm just the one who hasn't had a chance to find my correct shade. So this is the shade 340. As you can see, it's written 340. And it's called Cappuccino, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, it's Cappuccino. So I got the Cappuccino one. And I'll still, I'm still searching for this. So I guess most of the time, Africans, we have a problem with foundation shades because our skin color actually fluctuates like nobody's business. Because we're always in the sun and our sun is too hot. So... The next uh, thing that I got is actually a primer for my face. I do have an eyeshadow primer, but I don't have a face primer. And I got the Maybelline one again. It's in the... Uh, I, was, uh, I was about to say shade, not shade. It's the Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer. And this is like a new to this the Jumia website because I've not been seeing it so I decided to get it because it was actually way cheaper than the other primers that Maybelline had on the Jumia website so it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer and as you can see I look matte I look matte and the matteness is not going away <laughs> yeah so um, this is it I think I'll be showing you guys the prices right there so that you can just get a good you know idea of how much they were and then the pastel this is an eyebrow mascara and you guys know that i had been using actual mascaras for my eyebrows for a really long time i guess somebody had the same concept that it does fully is actually remind you of a mascara wand right so this is an eyebrow mascara by pastel and it's actually the one i've used on these brows doesn't look that natural but it's because maybe i'm not an expert in eyebrows but this is the one i've used and i've used the shade dark brown now what i wanted to tell is whether it has a stain effect can it stay can it stay that's what i wanted to know can it stay so i'm assuming it can stay yeah because i did this makeup with these products as i've said although this video is going to go up fast so in case you're interested in this makeup look check out for my next video it will probably be the one where i show you this makeup look so i've tested this product and uh, yeah they created this look now this is the eyebrow pastel yes 
as I was saying, pastel, eyebrow, mascara in the shade dark brown. And I'm just going to search for you where I got it from Jumia, right there, and the price, yes. And um, yeah, I got it from Jumia, Kenya, of course. Not Jumia, Nigeria, not Jumia, Ghana. Is there Jumia in Ghana? I don't know. But anyway, this is okay. It was pretty easy to apply. Although I would have loved the dark one or a darker one like black, but there was no black. There was only light brown and dark brown. So I just chose the dark brown, you know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I also got this. I got a couple of things, by the way. This is an eyelash color that works pretty well because I've tested it. Ignore these lashes. It's because they were ridiculously long. They were like umbrellas, literally. Got them from China. I didn't know they'd be this long, but yeah. So I tried to curl them with this eyelash color, and I think it did a pretty good job, although the lashes were too long to even be reasonably curled, you know. So, uh an eyelash color that just looks like this I guess it's from China because it's just written in Chinese but yeah I needed this I don't have an eyelash color and the next thing that I got was earphones yes because I used to listen to podcasts until my earphones got spoiled so I got the earphones from the Miniso store they were really 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 cheap although I wish I'd gotten better quality ones because they don't have this but I needed them for to listen to podcasts. So if they're for podcasts, I don't really need the base. But you know, sometimes you crave that base. But I'll insert them right here because I don't I don't know where they are already. That they're misplaced somewhere. But they were okay. They were decent. They were decently packed. Yeah, I got them from the Miniso store, as I've said on Jumia. And I, yeah, that's it. That's all that I got, guys. And I truly appreciate you guys for joining me today. Yeah, and if you see this sweatshirt in another video, just understand, guys, understand. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. In case you're interested in any of the products, I think you can just check where I wrote them down because I don't really normally see the share button on Jumia. Maybe somebody can tell me where their share button is, like the one on AliExpress or other websites or for copying links and stuff i've not really seen it or maybe because i use the app i don't know maybe i need to use the browser but i'll try and find for you these items and link them in the description box below as i always link other items thank you so much guys for watching if you're not yet subscribed honeys and you love makeup and fashion and beauty and everything nice and good and sweet and kind and loving make sure you subscribe to this channel because i do three videos a week imagine three videos a week every single week i do it guys i do it <laughs> for you guys anyway thank you so much guys for watching i truly appreciate you whoever you are wherever you are good morning good evening good night good day i'll see you in my next video bye